John's in the kitchen to make sure you start the new year off in the right way. And today it is a... Well, this is no ordinary scrambled eggs. This is... Well, scrambled eggs are sort of as well as French toast. I love French toast. I really like scrambled eggs. And I sort of thought, this means everybody can choose the bits they want, but also you, sort of a portion, which I think oh is a gosh. decent idea. Hello. So I've got a big loaf of good old-fashioned bread. It can be older bread if you want for French toast. Cut it quite thick. You can see how thick it's going to be. And then I'm going to take the actual ends off and then I'm going to fill it with the stuffing. But in the meantime, just really quickly, I'm going to put some into the French toast mixture to soak. So just, it's a couple of eggs and some bread. I used to call this eggy bread as a kid. Yeah, egg, eggy bread, lost bread, uh, palm perdue, French toast. But that's where it originally came from, which was palm perdue, which is lost bread. So the old bread, which was stale, how do you use it up? And that was really where it all came oh. from. That's why it's called French toast. So then you take the, the, some eggs there, mixture. I'm just going to put those into a pan for a sec because we haven't got all day. Um, we'd like to. <laughs> then put that into a pan with a, um, a little bit of butter. Just oh a, a tiny bit of butter inside that a pan. That much butter and I put really these good. in there. Now, the good thing about these French toasts is you can make them the day before if you want to. You've got lots of people coming around. And then you just pop them in the oven on the day and take about 10, 15 minutes and then just make your scrambled eggs. So they're just really easy to do. So, so you sort of, do all of this stuff early? Do it the day before or earlier on, it's just oh. easier. Um, and I think with brunch, it's one of those things where you just don't want to be mucking around too much, fuffing around too much. Yeah. So this is the, the fastest way to do it. Take your big bits of bread, take the crust off, both the bits of crust off, and then or, or, all the crust off, and then just with a, a knife, you make a pocket in the middle you well, could toast those, couldn't you, and then save them, and then the next day have a dippy egg. You could, absolutely. That's it. Or, or use them for breadcrumbs, which always really works mm. quite nicely for, you know, things like um, making other bits and pieces or for crumbing your chicken or whatever you do. So you make a little pocket in the middle, sort of like a, you know, a, a, a puppet. And then I've got a mixture here of cream cheese and yoghurt. Cream cheese is very, very hard and quite firm. So add a bit of yoghurt to it, just soften it up a little bit. Some fresh dill or whatever you want. Now, you can make this sweet if you wanted to. You can fill it with bananas and Nutella. Oh, right. Or any other chocolate spread, which is available everywhere. Um, or anything like that you wanted to do. And then in here, I've just got some lemon rind as well. So lemon and, mm. and that there goes there. Beautiful. That amazing. And then you take that mixture here and you take that little um, mix and then you literally just spoon that filling inside inside your French toast. So, you just so this it. is before you've egged and fried it? Yeah, so right. this is the filling. And as I say, anything you want in here. Um, I've done really posh ones with crab or lobster before, oh. which is really lovely. Um, but anything you want, and just, I mean, really what you're doing is you're making a sort of an eggy toasted sandwich. Yeah. And then you take your, once mm. you've got your bread done, take a mix of just a couple of eggs, whisk it up, add some salt to it, a little bit of milk, and then you just soak your bread in it. And that's your French toast element. Scrambled eggs. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people get really worried about scrambled eggs. I'm going to try and dispel the myth. The easiest way to, for me to do scrambled eggs, I feel, is to just do... I'm just going to turn this French toast over. Well, not quite over, because it's just... Let's get some more butter on it underneath it. Six eggs in a bowl. For how many people? This is enough for four for me. I think that's enough for a portion. It's quite rich. Do you not yeah, think? There's a lot toast, going on in yeah. egg. egg, bit of salmon, I think it's enough. So yeah. two bits of bread, six eggs, so eight eggs in total. Take your eggs and then a little bit of a spoonful of creme fraiche, a little bit of creme fraiche. Ah, why creme fraiche or not? Because a lot of people would put milk in at this stage. Yeah, creme fraiche is, is cooked, so it stabilises it. So then what you do is you whip your, your eggs and the egg white with your creme fraiche just a little bit. Don't put anything on there at the moment. Get a pan which is quite hot and then put in some butter. Now, you don't put salt in there now, do you say? No salt at the moment. So no. I'm just going to put this a bit of butter in here first. I don't want to run out of time, but I'm, I'm determined to do this don't properly live, live on telly. Um, a little bit of oil, so butter and oil. Is don't So the butter doesn't burn? So the butter doesn't burn. <clears throat> then you take pepper and put your pepper into your pan now. Pepper's a spice. The, heat, the hotter you get it, the more flavour will come out of that pepper. It will taste more like the inside of a pasty rather than just being dry and horrible. Wow. Then put your eggs, which aren't completely bashed up, in there. Scrambled eggs aren't whipped together. They've got right. bits in them. My mum used to use a hand whisk. And whisk them to death. And it was like an egg smoothie. Yeah, it was like an omelette. Sorry, Mum. Well, that's an omelette. You whisk it up together, you get an omelette. Let it sit. Don't touch it. Just let it sit like that. And then I'm going to turn this, my lovely little um, French toast over. There's my, my thing. There. 
Mm hmm And if you... There, so then you got... Do you know, I can really taste the pepper, now that you're saying that. But, like, in a really nice way. Oh, that's good. It's like it's all through it, but in, like, a not spicy kind of... It's and not harsh, because no. pepper can be really, really harsh, and that's the last thing you want to do when you have something like pepper. So take that, and then what I'm going to do is get, move it out of the way. And you see, I haven't really touched it at all. I haven't really... And this is where... Take a plastic spatula or a wooden spoon, and then give it a little stir around the outside, go right in the centre, and then let it sit for again for a second. Now, once you've done that bit, because that, that's... I turn, put on the middle one, it's a bit hotter, Johnny. Come on, mate. There we go. You've got guests coming in for three minutes. There's no champagne open yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> then add to that, this is when you salt it. OK. If you put salt in, as you were saying, Philip, what will happen is the egg white starts to break down and becomes watery. And that's when you get watery scrambled eggs, which you don't want. Oh, yeah. The other secret is, when you think it's, it's not quite cooked, take it off the heat. There's residual heat left in here. There's a lot of heat in At here. At that stage? At that stage, and you'll see how much heat's still in here, you'll still see steam coming off this. Yeah, yeah. So that means your eggs can continue to cook. So leave that there on the side, and in a minute, you'll see it look, looks really, really runny. In France, that's called beverse. Beverse is sort of posset. Posset, of course, translates to what babies make. Sick. Yes, that's right. Oh, That's why geez. it's called like that. <laughs> Sorry, Happy Holly. Happy here, guys. Happy. Happy. Tuck in. Yeah. I've got a bit of French toast I had in the, in the oven, which is nice. Take that, I'm going to cut that in half. That's the one with all the stuffing inside it. There's the cream cheese stuffing comes mm -hmm. out of the centre of it. And I'm going to put that on there. Whoops. We're going to take a nice bit of lemon because we think lemon with a bit of that's done. Maybe a bit of, of dill. I'm really enjoying this. And then, if you look, you see, go back to this, these eggs. You see they look quite watery, but now if you turn them over, look. They're, complete, yeah. they're completely cooked all the way through. And they will continue to cook just that little bit more. And if you want them more cooked, that's absolutely fine. And then onto your plate. And the secret is, really, for me, don't mix your smoked salmon with your eggs. I used to um, mix my smoked salmon with my eggs. And it ended up in a little bit of a, a conflict at home. So I no longer mix the smoked salmon <laughs> with the eggs. Because it sort of cooks it. It does, but the smoked salmon, I think, is quite nice on top. And what happens is there's that lovely warmth that comes through across the top from the eggs onto the smoked salmon releases a flavour. Good grind of pepper across the top of it. Lovely. That was really yummy. Very Thank good. you. I enjoyed that. Thank you. There we are. Happy, and a happy New Year, you. Happy New Year to all of you. 2023. I know. Who'd have thought it's like the future? I know. It's happening now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John. See you. Bye. Right, the details of today's recipes. Don't forget that lovely pie we had earlier on. Uh, all the delicious ideas from our chefs. Download the free This Morning app. Right.